Naira Mali and Sam Larry were arrested on allegations of being complicit in the death of Mobad and both are still in detention, according to the Lagos State Police boss Idowu Uhumo. Hi guys, you're welcome back again to my page, MJ Fun TV. Currently trending on all social media platforms is this new update from the police after they did investigation and questioning and, you know, mostly on the suspects that they took in. They are now releasing information concerning it. Just listen to this video where they reviewed a lot of things before we can continue on the next. Samson Balogun, a little, aka Sam Larry, is a suspect who was arrested on allegation of uh, having uh, been complicit in the death as well as uh, in relation to the videos that have gone viral about bullying and assaults which is of course, we believe, perhaps had any link with his eventual death. He was arrested, he's still in detention. Abdulaziz Fashola, a.k.a. Nairamadi, was also arrested and is still currently uh, in detention for similar allegations. Before now, record that court remand Nairamali and Samlari for 21 days in cell, which they are still there up to now. Well, at this moment, according to the Lagos State, police there are propendous evidence linking both naira mali and sam larry to the allegation of threat to life cyber stalking and sundry crimes committed against mobad you know according to them these things they are just um saying in summary they're just trying to say that uh, you know they bullied mobad and did a lot of attack when he was alive and that contributed to him losing his life you know, due depression and threats and everything they said. They are not even saying that they killed Mobad or they really did it directly. They are trying to say that they bullied Mobad to the point when he was depressed and, you know, became a threat to even himself and everything. Now, this is a very serious situation because most Nigerians on social media are saying they are not satisfied with this and they kept complaining on all social media platforms. But first of all, we are going to play this next video for you guys to listen to more information from the police. Then we can go in detail to explain to you everything, including our own findings. Many of the witnesses earlier listed, of, as the 26 witnesses, many of them alleged that this deceased was indeed bullied and assaulted several times by Naramali and Samlari <coughs> and their gangs. It was affirmed that sometime in 2019, the disease was allegedly signed by Naramali into a record label known as Malian Music Limited. Due to disagreement in terms of the contract, the disease pressed for the revocation of his contractual relationship with Malian Music, while also pushing to relieve his then manager, who was a brother to Naramani. It was alleged that this moves hide the suspects, who in consequence allegedly severally conspired, bullied, and assaulted the disease. It was also asserted by some witnesses with corroborative video evidence that before his demands, Mobad had raised alarm that his life was being threatened, that he was being bullied and assaulted by Naramadi and Sanlari. Upon the arrest, Abdulaziz Abdeshinon Fashola Naramadi and Samson Erifolami Balogun Sanlari denied allegations of complicity in the death of Mubad by pleading an alibi that they were both out of the country when the incident occurred and they were not in any manner involved in the chain of events that occasions his eventual death between 10th to 12th September 2023. However, there are preponderance of evidence linking both Naramali and Samlari to the allegations of threat to life, cyber stalking, and sundry crimes committed against Mubad in his lifetime, and they are being so held liable. Interim investigation, interim findings. So, from investigations so far conducted, it has been established as follows. One, the chain of events that directly and specifically led to the death of Ilerio Luwada Dimeji Alobar 
aka Mubad, occurred between 10th to 13th September 2023, and the location of Isin stretched over Ikorudu and Leki, Lagos. So guys, you heard it yourself. According to the police, they are saying that all these crimes committed by Naira Mali and Samlari against Mobad corrupt in, you know, increasing his problems and it's actually an offense. But they are not saying that they did the final killing and all of that. So this was the reason most Nigerians on all social media platforms, especially on Twitter, were lamenting bitterly saying that, you know, the police are not really saying anything regarding the autopsy and everything. So the police then went on to explain in detail, saying that everything they are just saying today, October 6th, is just summary of the investigation they did on their own and the questioning they, you know, interrogated them, that the autopsy result is not yet reviewed. According to the police, Sam Larry admitted to having several confrontations with Mobad, you know, but he didn't end him. Earlier today, JLB blog posted this on Instagram. According to this post, it happened that Mobad and DJ Splash is not the only victim of Naira Mali wickedness. He got some boys in his care who are not artists, but he used them to peddle drugs, mostly at night. Hmm. And Nigerian police were being called into this. Naira Mali rented a store in Mustafa Plaza, Agungi. That's where he takes all these young, innocent boys to at night to peddle his drugs. Please, arrest the landlord of Mustafa Plaza in Agungi and Naira Mali should perhaps tell the whole world what he was selling in the store he took at Mustafa Plaza in Agongi that he comes to operate at midnight, using small boys to take his drug around and telling them to run when they see police. Sometimes they got caught and killed secretly and it won't even be linked to Naira Mali. He just left the Agongi store recently to another place and I am still on his track, he said. I will get to the address and the new place. But to ascertain this claim, arrest the landlord of that plaza and ask him what Naira Mali was selling at midnight there that he rented a shop to him. We need to liberate more younger people. He is an hardened criminal that should be stopped. Hence, we are all sitting on a time bomb. The store is at the top floor. They would wrap the stuff tightly and tape them and ask his boys in the plaza to help him bring them downstairs to convey. Most times, the cars that we convey them are already waiting downstairs for them and it is midnight most times. Zinolenski knows about this and he was seen countless times with Naira Mali during those hours, hence part of the oath of allegiance he took with Zinolenski. Hmm, this is so serious and we employ all the actions from Nigerian police to be taken at this time. This is so serious, guys, and JLB kept posting more and more. According to this report, we are mourning more bad now, but we need to save the young ones that are still alive. These boys and girls are so naive and normally use them. This is really heartbreaking. Most people on all social media platforms are already dropping their own opinion and what they think regarding this topic. Well, I don't really know what you guys' opinion is about this news, but comment down below whatever your own opinion is about this. And for our findings, kindly check out our next post to see more information from what we have found out so far. Thank you so much for watching this video. For daily entertainment, news, and celebrity good and bad updates, and all you need to know that's happening in the country, don't forget to hit this red subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to always stay connected to us. One love and God bless you all. Don't forget to thumbs up to this video and comment down below what you think about this.